Milford Messick to show you some cool components here. Uh, this is a variable displacement hydraulic motor or a hydrostatic transmission component. Uh, this one had a rather unfortunate accident, a pretty catastrophic failure, which not cool, not the kind of thing we like to see. Uh, fortunately, this is a, a warranty repair, but does give us the opportunity to be able to show you some of the inner workings of these mechanics. If you have a piece of equipment that has a hydrostatic transmission or any kind of variable displacement hydraulic pump in it, this is the kind of mechanical system that you have inside this machine. It's one of these things that's like super cool, super elegant, and the tolerances inside of these things will blow your mind. So we're gonna show you a little bit here today some of the components of how these pumps function. Messix, a helping hand with your land. So I'm going to take a moment here and show you kind of all the moving components of this system. Uh, starting here from the base plate down on the bottom, there's going to be some porting underneath this hydraulic motor here. You see down here underneath these plates, uh, one side here is going to be the side that the oil feeds into the pump. The other side is going to be the side where it feeds out. This plate sits in here in the middle. This is kind of the surface that this thing rides on top of. Stacked on top of that is this hydrostatic motor. Uh, this is going to spin, so you see the threading here on the top. You have an input shaft that comes down into this, and then this is going to rotate and spin around here on top of this wear plate. As this thing spins, it's kind of where the cool stuff happens. These individual cylinders right here are a, a pump. So these are gonna move up and down. On one side, it's gonna draw the oil in. It's gonna rotate around to the other side and then push the oil out, and so, that function there, the up and down plunger motion, is what actually pumps the oil. What makes these pumps really cool is that they're variable pumps. When they're in a neutral position here, these things don't move at all, and this thing can sit here and spin and draw very little horsepower off of your engine. But as they pump and they're at a longer stroke, it takes more horsepower in order to operate this pump. That function is done by this piece right here. This is called a swash plate, and this sits on top of this pump assembly right here, and it's gonna get actuated. Now, different machines are going to operate this swash plate in different ways. Some simple hydrostatic transmissions are manual. You're going to have some that work this with electronic servos. There's all kinds of different systems out there. But as this thing angles, when it's straight up and down, it's in a neutral position. And as it starts to angle to the side and there's a greater slope to these pistons right here, these are going to move to a greater degree and being, being pumped in and out more as they ride around upon the angle of this swash plate. There's a certain amount of what's called charge pressure in this when it's under operation that pushes these plungers up against the bottom of that swash plate that kind of makes this whole thing work. These surfaces right here are brass and these plungers right here are going to ride upon the bottom of that surface and so this is where things like using the right hydraulic fluid become really important because there's a lot of lubrication in here or these brass pieces against this surface and also the lubrication between the plungers down here themselves that rely upon that hydraulic fluid in order to lubricate them. Another interesting thing here that you notice is I move these things in and out. The tolerances in here are just so, so tight. Um, if you take this and even hold this in your hand and start, I'll see if I could do this, and start to actually warm this thing up. Just give it a moment there. When I try to go drop it down in the hole again, I don't quite notice the difference. It'll actually be enough that you can start to expand the metal a little bit here just by heating it up a little bit that it won't want to drop in the hole or you'll notice that extra resistance. So again, going back to the hydraulic fluid side again, if you have a fluid that's not dissipating its heat properly or your machine starts to overheat, the hydraulic fluid gets too hot uh, for whatever reason, even hot operation, and starts to expand these plungers, it can cause wear on the plunger itself and start to wear out the hydraulic motor and you'll start to get some bypass around these plungers and your pump's not going to work as well. So. Interesting stuff, right? A lot of cool components in here. These things are so common anymore in our hydrostatic transmissions and our CVT transmissions. Um, this one is in a variable speed pump on the front of a chopper head. They're all over our equipment anymore. Um, and a really common, simple mechanism uh, that's just cool to be able to see how it works. So shopping for a piece of equipment, we can help. If you burn something up and you need some parts, we got a whole great group of people here to help you out with that. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Could probably take all these out, put a bunch of like pens and pencils in here, and put this thing up on Etsy with a bunch of nice pictures and get like 100 bucks for it or something, right? <laughs>